Hello everyone. Today we are going to try a problem involving a weak acid called acetic acid. This is the main um, component of vinegar. We're going to try to determine the concentration of hydronium ions in a one molar solution of acetic acid um, with the Ka value given as 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5. Um, the Ka value for any acid can pretty easily be found online. Um, and they're different for each different acid. Um, one thing I want to note, that is a pretty low Ka value. It's much less than one. So this is a weak acid. Okay, so weak acids, when they react with water, they only partially dissociate. Okay, so the reaction's reversible. So I'm going to write the equilibrium expression. Acetic acid is made from the acetate ion combined with the hydrogen. I'm going to write the simplified expression. So rather than writing hydronium as H3O plus, I'm just going to write it as, an, as a proton H plus. Okay. When it gives away its proton, what is left is acetate. Okay. So this is our um, equilibrium. Okay, would exist between acetic acid and the dissociated form of hydronium and acetate. Okay, our Ka expression is products over reactants. Products are H plus and acetate. Okay, the reactant is acetic acid. And we know that this whole expression equals 1.8 times 10 to the minus five. We'll solve for that later. Okay, so initially we have one molar solution of our acetic acid. We have no hydronium and no acetate initially. Okay, we know that some of this will dissociate we're not sure how much, but some of the acetic acid will dissociate. We'll call that minus X. For every X moles that dissociates, we form one mole of hydronium and one mole of acetate. Okay, so our final equilibrium values will be one minus X for acetic acid, X for hydronium, and X for our acetate. So we'll plug those into our Ka values. Okay, so this one minus X will go in here and so on. Um, so I'm gonna put in this in, give myself a little bit more space, Ka. Uh, we'll do hydronium. Hydronium is just X. Acetate is X as well. The denominator is one minus X. And all of this together equals 1.8 times 10 to the minus fifth, or 10 to the minus five power. Okay, I wanna point out that was given in the problem. Okay, but again, something that could easily be looked up online if we didn't have it. Okay, so get rid of a little bit of this clutter. Okay, so let's look at how we could solve this. This is, uh, at this point, we just need some algebra. It's not that simple though. This is a quadratic expression. So uh, if you have a calculator, TI-83 or higher, you can use the solve function to solve this. Otherwise you would need to use the quadratic formula to solve for X. Okay, we are gonna look at a, a shortcut though that we could use instead. Okay, I see this as a weak acid. The K value is very low. It tells me that the numerator is pretty small. In other words, for weak acids, only a very small portion of the acid actually dissociates. And we can assume that X, the number of moles that dissociate, is going to be a small fraction of the total. Okay, Our total starting value of one molar, probably only about 1% of that is going to actually dissociate. Okay, How do we actually use this to make our expression a little bit simpler. 
okay? If I know that x is, a, is much less than one, then we can assume that one minus x is approximately x, okay? One minus x is approximately x. Um, wait, sorry. One minus x is approximately one, okay? That ends up making our k expression much simpler. So rather than saying ka is a quadratic expression, x squared over one minus x, simplifies to ka equals x squared over one equals 1.8 times 10 to the minus five. Okay, we can simply take the square root of both sides to solve for x. Um, I wanna point out that that um, shortcut is something that we typically will be able to use probably for all of the problems that we do. Um, however, given that all of you should have graphing calculators, um, if you are comfortable using the solve function, I would encourage you to do that um, to get a slightly more precise answer. Um, this will give you, this is a pretty good approximation. We should give you an answer within 1% of the correct answer, okay? But we square root both sides, right? Square root of 1.8 times 10 to the minus five, It comes out to be 0 0.00424. Okay, so what is that number? So this is X. So what does that number actually mean? Well, it tells me that this X the hydronium ion concentration is 0 0.0424 molar. Okay, and we can see the amount of acid and the amount of acetic acid that's left over would be one minus 0 0.004, okay, um, or very close to one. So our, our assumption is is accurate in this case. Okay, we're going to take this one step further. I'm going to leave that answer up. If hydronium concentration is 0 0.00424 molar, what would the pH be of this solution? Okay, so we've got this one molar vinegar solution or, or acetic acid, what would be the pH? Now that we know the hydronium ion concentration, we can simply use our expression pH equals negative log of hydronium. Okay, or negative log of 0 0.00424. Okay, pH comes out to be 2.37. Okay, it's pretty acidic. Remember, anything less than seven is acidic. All right, so hopefully this gives you an idea of how we could find the uh, hydronium ion concentration of a weak acid. Remember, for strong acids, we just assume that all of the acid dissociates to form hydronium ions. Here, um, only a very small portion, uh, less than 1% ended up about half a percent ended up dissociating. Okay, if you have any questions, please let me know via email or on Google Classroom. Have a good one, bye.